Hi, have you ever got yourself in a situation where on your local network some device uses all the bandwidth available and others can't do anything? Today I want to show you a simple example of how to avoid situations like this using a feature called Simple Queues. Let's assume that we have a simple home router with default configuration. Doesn't matter how much bandwidth is provided by the ISP and how many clients are there on your network. The first thing I want to do is disable fast track. Fast track is basically a shortcut in the router which allows all the traffic reliably without additional checks to go from LAN to internet. That reduces CPU usage and is enabled on home routers with default configuration. If we want to do more advanced stuff with the traffic, we need to turn that off. Let's go to IP, firewall, look for the default fast track connection firewall rule and disable it. Now we will add a bandwidth limitation rule. In router OS, we call them simple queues. Since in my example, I have 100 megabits of bandwidth provided to me by the ISP, I will create a queue with max limit 100M on both directions. Let's go to the menu, queues, add a new rule in the simple queues tab, specify a target 192.168.88.0 slash 24, which is my home network, and I will specify a max limit of 100M for both directions. At this moment, the whole network is limited to 100 megabits, the same speed that our ISP is providing us. But now, let's imagine a situation where there is a server in the LAN that definitely needs to use 50 megabits of bandwidth, and the rest of 50 megabits can be left uh, for other users. We will add a new simple queue rule and specify this particular server IP address as the target and set both its max limit and limit at to 50 megabits. Limit at specifies the minimum speed that should be allocated for a particular target. Limit at option works only between different child queues. That is why we select our first queue as the parent. Now the whole subnet is limited to 100 megabits, but a particular IP is limited to 50 megabits. And since this server is our main priority, we specify the highest priority on the queue settings as possible. So what we have left? 50 megabits for other LAN devices. I will now add one more queue as a child of the parent queue and set max limit for it to 100 megabits, but specify a lower priority than the on the server queue and select our main queue as a parent. So all of the LAN users will be able to use up to 100 megabits of traffic, but if the server requires bandwidth of up to 50 megabits, then due to priority settings specified on both child queues, server and LAN, it will allocate more bandwidth for the server than for the other LAN users. Last but not least, we will specify on our LAN PCQ type configuration as PCQ, which will divide traffic evenly between all the LAN clients. Read more about PCQ and how it works in our manual. OK, a very simple and useful setup. The bandwidth is limited for all the LAN clients. It's evenly distributed due to the PCQ Q type, and 50 megabits are guaranteed for the server. This is just an example, but you can see how many possibilities are there on managing bandwidth when many clients are present in your network. Learn more about simple queues in our manual. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.